Ladies and gentlemen, please help me welcome to the cage our next contestant of the evening, evening representing Team Fejada Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, Jesus Castillo. Colin, the second most handsome bald guy in the building tonight. It's a nice place to be. Uh, uh, the first being the Jocelyn Lee's coach, right? Uh, no, I was going to go with uh, J.J. Ferraro. Oh, okay, yeah. Yes. <laughs> Where do you rank in there? Top, oh, top 40 at least. Oh, okay, yeah. Well, you're giving yourself a lot of credit then. <laughs> and here we have Jesus Castillo. Team Fajeda from down in the valley. 5 foot 11, officially weighed in at 168.3 pounds. Has been training for the last three years. Has a great stable of fighters to train with over at Team Ferreira. Preparing for his first victory here tonight in the Elevate Cage. Final touches for Jesus Castillo. Yeah, Carlos Diego Fajeda getting back on the winning uh, side of the ledger with his last fight in the UFC just a couple weeks ago. Welcome back. See how he's doing as a head coach down there in the Valley. See one of his guys in here tonight. 0-2, looking for that first win in the cage. Predicting a knockout victory here tonight. Jesus Castillo, ready for action. Cage representing Revolution Dojo, Austin Sanders. And here we have Austin Sanders. Five foot seven, 167 pounds at the official weigh in. Representing Revolution Dojo here tonight. Seen a lot of fighters, a lot of good fighters come out of Revolution Dojo over the years. Also looking for his first victory here tonight. There we see the final touches for Austin Sanders. There we see the tail of the tape. 33-year-old Jesus Castillo taking on 29-year-old Austin Sanders. Both fighters looking for their first victory here tonight. Slight height advantage for Castillo. Both fighters about even in weight. Three years training for Castillo. Should be an interesting matchup as Austin Sanders made his way inside the cage. Well, he is see, ready for action. As we see here on the K on the screen, Austin Sanders no training. Uh, what are you, uh, <laughs> Now, this is a hell of a feat to step in there with no training. So if he, if he has a good showing here, I'm going to be really impressed. Gone are the days where we're just grabbing people from the crowd to jump <laughs> in the cage, but definitely a throwback there if he's coming in unprepared like that. Just a tough guy off the streets. That's from, like, the Todd Moore era. Right oh, back goodness. Then. OG stuff. We are brought to a spot. Brand for three rounds and three minutes each. Elevate FC. division. Introducing first on my left, fighting out of the blue corner. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighed in at 168 and one quarter pounds. This freestyle fighter is looking for his first victory this evening. Fighting out of Far Texas, Jesus Castillo. And across the cage on my right, fighting out of the red corner. He stands five feet, seven inches tall, weighed in at 167 and three quarter pounds. He's making his debut this evening, fighting out of Detroit, Michigan, Austin, Almighty Sander. <laughs> Referee in charge of the action, J.J. Ferraro. Surprised to hear so much support for Detroit, Michigan here in Houston, Texas. It's usually a pro Houston cap crowd. Jesus Castillo, Austin Sanders. Sanders is fighting at a Revolution Dojo, so I, I mean, I take it he's a, a transplant, maybe just, maybe just a Michigan-born. Yeah, watching both these fighters come out right now, in my humble opinion, my prediction right now, this fight, this fight's not going to the judges. There's going to be a finish in this one. I like that. Look at the frame of Sanders. He is a thick dude. Those legs, my goodness. 
fights being contested at the welterweight division. 170 pound weight limit. Those are some beasts in that weight class, ladies and gentlemen. Nice combination right here from Castillo. Yeah, he's throwing, man. Yeah, you know, that's actually some good defense there from Sanders with that guard up. Yes, Clinch now. Let's see if we can see a takedown. Castillo training out of a uh, gym with a high-level jiu-jitsu black belt. I'm sure he's comfortable on the ground should it hit there. Curious if he's going to try to nail an inside trip or possibly a single leg here. He's got that... Uh, Said the inside trip, he's going for the outside trip, transition to double leg, but good defense there from Sanders. Yeah, great grappling exchange on the cage right here from both these fighters right here. Wrestling in the clinch, looking for takedowns, some elbows, some knees. Really seeing how this whole situation is going to play out. Who's going to get the advantage? Yeah, I think Sanders is making a mistake here. He doesn't have an underhook. Castillo now working hard for that takedown. We're already a minute and a half in, or halfway into this round. That's how vital takedowns are in these three-minute rounds, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, can win a round. And, and I, like I said, Sanders kind of fought off the takedown without digging an underhook. It's very difficult to do up against a cage. And it's just something you got to learn as an amateur, you know? That underhook right there from Sanders, that one could help him right here. He's making some framework. He's trying to push away, create some space. But Castillo doing a great job staying heavy, putting the pressure on. He's about to get this nice full mount now. Wow. With just under a minute left, does he have enough time to finish this fight, Ricky? Yes, this is a great position right here for Castillo. 45 seconds. If he finishes it, cool. But if not, he should still use this position to score, get some great damage on the board, and really try to take some energy away from his opponent. Sanders has to get his shoulders back up against the cage. He's letting, he's letting Castillo push him around right now, and now he's in a position where he's going to have a hard time Ooh. getting away. This is a bad spot. Ooh. Man, heck of a scramble there for Sanders, oh, wow. and it paid off. Really nice, man. He created movement right there, and he got out of that position right there, creating movement. That's uh, making chicken salad out of something else. Uh, it was a, a, a made a mistake, and it ended up it ended up being to his advantage. Yeah, he got real athletic right there in that position. He's finishing Cast in top position, but look, man. Castillo going for a leg lock right here. But you got to run his knee bar. You can't do a knee bar at, at the amateur level. Wow, what a finish from Ooh. these two fighters. The fight was really starting to break out in those last 30 seconds. Man, Jesus Castillo and Austin Sanders throwing down here tonight at Elevate FC. Great scrap, great scrap between those guys. Yeah, that last 30 seconds, that was hectic, you know what I'm saying? A lot of changing in positions, up and down, punches being thrown, a lot of scrambling, that was great. It was almost looking like a textbook jiu-jitsu round there for Castillo, but just the athletic ability of Sanders just being able to muscle out of that wasn't any specific technique. He just exploded out of there, Ricky. Yeah, so he's like, wait, just get up. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but it was good, though, no, because he, he created a little bit of movement. He was giving up the back, right? And then off the him giving up the back, though, he was able to slip out the back door and uh, make Castillo fall over on the side. He cut, And then Castillo went for the arm bar, but then he was sweaty, and then Sanders was able to rotate and get his arm kind of wiggled out of there, you know what I mean, to get to the top position. Yeah, cl close round. I give I give a lean to Castillo there. I thought that he had the better positions for most of the round, but a, a good a good strong finish there by Sanders. And clearly, it's a strong dude, man. He, like even in bad positions, he's turning things into uh, into positive spots for him. Yeah, definitely, AJ. I, was, I, I agree with you there. Our third fight of the night right now between Castillo and Sanders. And I'll tell you what, this is a very very exciting fight. These two guys are putting on. I'm oh, that's a big leg kick. Yeah, that calf kick right there, the connecting on the lower calf, that can hurt for sure. Oh, he doesn't like that, man. He's, he's starting to hold that leg back, too. It reminds me of the last fight. We saw the same thing. And when you've got to change up your stance, man, it, it becomes very difficult to be an effective striker. Man, you got to be so precise with those calf kicks. If not, you can possibly hit shin to shin, which can hurt yourself just as Probably worse than your opponent sometimes. Another big roundhouse kick to the body right here from Sanders. You see Castillo now kind of fighting out of a southpaw stance. He, he doesn't want to get kicked in that left leg anymore. He did switch. He did make a switch to the southpaw stance right here. He going for an outside low kick as Castillo. Castillo back to orthodox. I think one more kick will put, it, put that left leg right back in the back. Let's see if Sanders goes <laughs> for it. No, then he goes back to southpaw. 
Back to Ortho. Oh, that jab is a nice extended. jab there from Castillo. Sanders walked right into that one, but he just continues moving forward. No quit in this fighter. Nice body kick right there from Castillo from the open stance. The backside round kick with the left leg. Definitely a closer round so far in round two. Oh, that's a nice left hook. Sanders oh, coming with that pressure. Missed, just missed a kill shot there. Here he goes right here. Sanders coming with the clinch now. And now you see a better job by Sanders digging that underhook, turning into a good position. Nicely done, good scramble. 50 seconds left in the second round. And that arm in guillotine is hard to finish. But he's been doing a good job in using it to scramble and work his way out of bad positions. But right now, as I say that, he gets put right on his back and top side control for Castillo. And again, you, when you, in these three round or three minute rounds, it, like that moment might change the whole round. One takedown like that and controlling for the last 30 seconds probably wins the round for Castillo in a round that he otherwise was gonna lose, it felt like. Yeah, that, 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 that takedown right there for Castillo, that was really nice. And oh, him finishing wow. it with some ground and pound right here though, that's the, that's the, real, that's the real scoring right there. He got the takedown. Some ground and pound right here will really help seal the deal for him. Sanders works his way back up. Needs something big if he plans to try to steal round two. Could be too little too late. How do you like number two, AJ? I, I, I mean, I, that's a tough round to score, but I think I have to give it to Castillo. I, I think getting that takedown, doing some damage on the ground particularly, I, I like what he did there. But this is a really close competitive fight. And, and like Ricky said, I, I still think there, there could be a finish ahead here because both these guys very aggressive, and, and I think Sanders starting to sacrifice some defense for offense. And uh, when one guy starts doing that, that's when you start to see these finishes. This is, yeah, for sure. Very competitive fight from both these fighters. Truthfully, I don't know. I could. I don't know how to score this one right now. Me personally, you know what I'm saying. Especially with the judges, sometimes could be a toss up right here between them. You know what I'm saying. I think it's very even right now. I, I think both these guys should, need to feel like they've got to get this round if they're going to win. There we see some of the Houston crowd here tonight uh, watching and enjoying some of the awesome fights here that Chris Lopez from Elevate FC has been putting on. You're only going to see this type of action right here on clearlifemedia.com, ladies and gentlemen. Spread the word to your friends and family. Third and final round coming up in this welterweight matchup. Castillo's corner asking for the outside low kick, and he, he obliges and he throws the outside low kick. But then Sanders, he comes with his own outside low kick right here. Ooh, oh, man, nice, nice combination. combination, dude. Wow. Oh, right to the knee to the body. Sanders answers right back. Man, these two are throwing down here tonight on Elevate Fighting Championship. <laughs> like I said, we're starting to sacrifice defense for offense. Very fan friendly. Yeah, great scrap between these two fighters for sure. Ooh, a little headbutt there. Got to watch that. Wow. Not sure, what was he trying to do there? If that was an intentional headbutt, if he was kind of was looking for something else. Oh, nice knee to the Second body. knee there. Wow. Wonder how Sanders is taking that. If he's put on a good poker face or. If or if that's starting to get to him. Sanders can't let this takedown get finished. He cannot, and boy, now it's an uphill battle. Because like I said, we're halfway through the round. If he can maintain this position, Castillo's putting himself in a really good spot. Yeah, that was a really, really good situation right there Got for Castillo. You, you can't heel hook. It looked like he was trying to go for something. You cannot heel hook in these amateur fights. Oh, big, big uh, hammer fist there. Yeah, that was a nice hammer fist for sure. Another one right there from Jesus Castillo. 80 seconds left in the start and final round. That left arm cross face really using that one on this top half guard position to just keep his opponent pinned down. 
definitely see the pace slowing for Sanders. He's been typically able just to explode right out of these bad spots. But right now, deep in deep waters. He's got one minute to get out of this or he's gonna lose his fight, I think. He's, he's gotta make something happen. And now he almost kind of put himself into a crucifix. Going for another leg lock attack, or at the very least, see if he can use that to scramble his way out. Yeah, I mean, trying if, to if you know space. that you can't finish with a leg lock, like if your opponent knows that, is it is it as effective of a sweep, or like do you just let yourself get knee barred or whatever? And he's kind of going for it right here. <laughs> he's looking. He's looking. He's trying to use this right here, the single leg X situation, to try to create some sort of scramble. But with 22 seconds left. Maybe a little too little too late because Castillo's showing great balance on top and he stays on top right here. And he's going to be finishing this third round very strong with the top ground and pound. Short time left in this welterweight matchup. <laughs> and Jesus Castillo and Austin Sanders go the distance here tonight in this welterweight matchup. I think a pretty easy fight to score, gentlemen. How do y'all have it? I, I give it to Castillo. I, again, I think these takedowns were the difference. And, um, you know, especially because he was able to take it. That last round especially, he was able to take him down and control him for the last 90 seconds of the round. Uh, I, I, I got it 2-1 Castillo here. The third round, for me, the third round was the most for sure definitive round. The third round, I could for sure give it to Castillo. You know what I'm saying? Rounds one and two, we're going to see how the judges scored it truthfully we're gonna see you know what i'm saying a good fight though competitive fight both guys have some promise in my opinion fantastic fight for sure both these guys mad respect to both of them they put on a great 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 fight great show for the people here watching tonight on elevate fc i have it three rounds to zero for castillo but i am thoroughly impressed from the athletic ability of austin sanders and i'm looking forward to seeing both of these guys in future elevate fighting championship cards but they are tallying up the official scores and we are about to find out what the official word is here shortly. Our man Colin Cantrell makes his way inside the cage. Both fighters looking for their first victory here tonight. Let's make this official. Hand it over to Colin Cantrell. Ladies and gentlemen, a big round of applause for these two fighters. Leaving it in the cage for three hard-fought rounds. We go to the judges' scorecards where we have a unanimous decision. All three judges scored for Jesus Castillo.